when it comes to making awesome videos, a lot of creators tend to focus on the best cameras, lenses, and other great gear to help improve the visuals. But almost just as equally important is getting good audio quality. Today, we're going to try these awesome Maono products and truly see, or hear, what a difference good audio can make. Now, let's make some noise. What's up? I'm RJ Bakulo, filmmaker, comic book creator, and mental health ambassador, here to help empower you to tell better visual stories with the best filmmaking tips, tricks, and techniques. The importance of good sound in film and video production cannot be overstated. They say that terrible visuals such as bad exposure, low resolution, or even out of focus shots can be forgivable by the audience, but terrible sound quality, not so much. It is imperative, therefore, to have the right tools to capture the best possible sound quality. Maono is an up and rising global audio innovation company that has been particularly popular in the podcasting and streaming scene lately with their quality, innovative, yet reasonably priced audio products. In this video, I want to review their condenser microphone, the lavalier mic, and finally their studio monitor headphones. Disclaimer this video is not a paid sponsorship. I bought these products fair and square and just wanted to give my honest recommendation of them because I really do believe their gear has improved the quality of my content. Now, let's dive into it. First, we're going to secure our desk clamp onto our tabletop. Find a suitable spot and tighten the clamp for sturdy support. Next, we'll attach our articulating boom arm by slotting it into the table clamp and tightening the knob at our desired position. Then adjust the arm and position the mounting thread either up or down, depending how you want to attach your microphone. Grab the shock mount and screw it into place. You can adjust it to the angle and position most suitable for your needs. Now the most important component is the microphone itself. Use the pincer-like clamp on the shock mount to hold the microphone securely and make sure the logo is facing you because that's the direction of the audio pickup. Connect the XLR end of the audio cable to the microphone itself. Use the audio splitter to plug in the 3.5mm mic jack as well as your headphones for monitoring while recording. And then plug that into your audio recording input device like your computer. Now this is optional. Since this condenser mic uses an XLR input, you can attach a power supply to provide plus 48 volts phantom power, which can significantly boost the recording signal. Lastly, you can add either a foam shield over the mic 
which acts as a windscreen to prevent pops from wind or breathing. Or you can attach the pop filter, which reduces what are called plosives, strong vocal pops from words starting with such letters as P or B. Recording, recording. Check mic one, two, one, two. Check mic one, two, three. This is the Maono condenser mic audio test. This is the microphone directly plugged into the computer without any audio interface or phantom power. As you can see, the audio is clear, although the signal is kind of weak. Otherwise, background noise is pretty minimum. Sound coming from my mouth is clear and pretty much isolated, even in a room that isn't completely sound treated. Check mic, check mic, one, two, three. This is the Maono condenser microphone test, this time using the plus 48 volt phantom power. As you can see, the signal strength of the recording is much stronger and clearer and makes quite a bit of a difference. Mic test, check mic, one, two, three. This is the Maono condenser mic test, this time with some post-processing done in Adobe Audition, applying a little noise reduction, compression, and EQ. As you can see, or should I say here, there is a big difference in quality when using the right microphone for the right situation, instead of just using the one you have built in with your camera or your phone. For example, the condenser mic has that deep and intimate voice quality that is just perfect for recording voiceover narration for my films and videos, and has been my go-to mic for recording podcast interviews or joining video conference calls and events. The lavalier mic is so versatile and handy that it's the main mic I use when I'm in front of the camera doing talking head type videos, which comes with this super handy switch where I don't need to fiddle and change TRS adapters just to get it to work on smartphones. I can even use my phone as a separate sound recorder paired with the lav mic and attach it to my actor or interview subject. It helps too that the cord is extra long. Lastly, as a professional film and video editor where I make most of my bread and butter, their studio monitor headphones is just perfect for isolating noises and allowing me to focus on the sound quality and audio nuances of my editing work. And it looks fantastic. Hey, I'm interested. What do you use to record your audio for your video content? Let me know in the comments section below. Whether you're a YouTuber or content creator, or maybe a gamer and streamer, or maybe you're a filmmaker and visual storyteller like myself. Having the best audio quality for your content will speak volumes of your production values and professional ethic. Check out Maono's products now with some of the product links in the description below. And I tell you, from price to quality, you won't be disappointed. Hey, if you found value in this video, please do help support the algorithm by hitting the like button or subscribe to my channel to see more awesome content like this.